Jai Srila Prabhupada. How fortunate we are. Look, um, we have Jagat Guru. And we're talking about him in the first person as far as relationship experience goes. Extraordinary. Um, Srila Prabhupada was not an ordinary person in as much as he he never his feet never really touched the ground right from the time of his birth in Calcutta right through his character was and still is exemplary we're so blessed to be able to talk in the first person in as much as our experience of Srila Prabhupada and we still cling to those memories as a part of our enthusiasm for devotional service, our determination, our patience, because we need patience also. Devotional service, as exemplified by Srila Prabhupada, is a process that we can all join in every single person and as Krishna um, empowers his devotees Srila Prabhupada really was empowered by Krishna Suridam Savabhutanam Surid he is the best friend of every living entity and he used to sign his name your ever well-wisher and I, I remember having written some sort of letter to Prabhupada before I joined. And I got a, an aerogram back and there it was big signature. This guy must be really big. <laughs> I was thinking at the time, big bold, your ever well-wisher, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami. And eventually I got in 1972, I think it was, to see Prabhupada at Sydney Town Hall. And he wasn't massive. He was petite and erudite. And in every way, he glided across the stage. And the devotees were just trailing behind him. And he sat down on this massive uh, Vyasasan like the center of a lotus and just settled. Every part of Srila Prabhupada was clearly superhuman. We were so lucky that we could observe that. Our gratitude to Srila Prabhupada should be expressed in trying to explain Jagat Guru, trying to explain that Krishna is in the heart. He is there in a form of the knowing guru and Srila Prabhupada was the manifestation of that. And our emotions sometimes get the better of us. Even with Srila Prabhupada, sometimes he would start to... to uh, chant before a class or sing Jai Radha Madhava and then he would clearly to the devotees who could see became chocked with emotion this is the nature of our true spiritual being we are emotional beings and there is nothing wrong with that but Prabhupada saw that as, a, as an inhibition in as much as it would stop him from speaking. So sometimes he would get only a few bars through the bhajan and he became so choked that he just said, chant Hare Krishna. And there was no class. That's an indication that it's okay to have these emotions. We've been told by Mayavadi sources that, oh no, this is uh, uh, the emotions, not important. But actually, beautiful deities can't help but feel emotion. Radha Govardhan Dari and all 
their Lordship's splendour is, evokes uh, your heart to open. And how we get to that level is by following Srila Prabhupada. Did that mean time up? Yeah? Okay. So, um, sorry? Winding up. Wind up. I had a, I've had many dreams actually of Srila Prabhupada and each one I can barely contain my emotion and it wakes me up and I'm so angry with myself for coming out of that dream because I always feel like oh, I just missed the punchline <laughs> but there's one dream I'd like to share it was at a time when I felt very low and um, in the dream uh, it was very cold. It, it, I was in Sydney on a bus, a grey bus, with everybody wearing grey suits, nobody talking, cold outside, miserable. Just how I was feeling. Nearly hopeless. Then, through all the grey, I saw a touch of colour, and it was Ganesh. Remember Ganesh Prabhu? <laughs> And I looked further and then I saw Korma. He was in, in a suit, but he had his undervest. And, and then I saw another devotee. And then I realized everybody's a devotee. And at the whole time, there's this beautiful chanting, singing going on. This beautiful chanting of the holy name. And you got it. The driver of the bus was sure the Prabhupada. So, <laughs> I've never worried since then. I've never worried about where we're going. Srila Prabhupada, he's got all the maps. Jai, Srila Prabhupada, Kija.